today's innovation is in the metaverse space. It's in the gaming space. It's in the play to earn, play and earn space, which is a space I believe is going to explode as the bear market sets in. When people are looking at their coins on exchanges and they're just sitting there going up and down very little, people are going to be looking to do things and they're going to be places where you can play a game and earn coins. And the, the, the project that I'm going to show you today is called Avagachi. And the reason why I'm excited about it is for a few reasons. It's one, the biggest reason is as I follow the biggest brains in the industry of technology, I see where they go. And when they're going a certain direction, I follow. And Avagachi is a direction I see a lot of big brains going to. And, you, and I'll show you how I see that happening. So I'm going to share my screen and show you. The first thing I want you to see is... This is the current market. Right now, the market is down. It's down pretty bad. But when you when you look at the difference, in the last about week, Bitcoin was at 47000 and now it's at 36000 That's a huge drop, right? Ethereum was at 35 It's down 27 That's a pretty big drop. But then when you look at the ghost coin, the ghost coin was at two dollars and ten cents, and it's still doing pretty well, only going down to one eighty three, and that's because the coin has something built into it called a bonding curve, and the bonding curve is a way for the coin to always keep a value that's not too um, volatile. They did this this thing through um, a platform I think it's called Balancer, where they a banker, banker, where once once people are buying the coin, the price gets higher in value and it's, it keep, it's kept steady. And when people stop selling the coin, it comes down in value, but it keeps it steady. It's really confusing. If you want, the link is in the description on how it all works. Even I'm still trying to understand it. But that's one of the major reasons I like this project. The coin has seemed to do well in this very sharp dip of most of cryptocurrency. So when I think about What's going to happen when the next bull run comes back is projects need to last however long this, this bear market will be. On average, it's been four years. So this project that I'm showing you literally is just coming out. And all the stuff I'm about to show you is already live before this game is really fully active, which is very telling sign that the community is taking interest in it, a big community. So first part is the coin. People are buying it. And if we look at the current market cap of the coin, it's at $100 million. When you look at other metaverse coins like Decentraland, Sandbox, and another very big competitor to this, Axie Infinity, those are all in the $3 billion, $4 billion range. So if Axie, if, if, if Avagachi ever reaches the Axie Infinities, the Decentralands, the Sandboxes, that will be, I think, a 30 or 300. No, it's definitely not 30 because it's 10. 10x is a million. So it'll probably be about a 30x if it ever reaches a $3 billion market cap. At the height of last bull run, those coins were always almost in the $10 million market cap. So that means if that happens with this coin, you're talking about a huge, a huge jump in value. Right. Of course, not financial advice. None of this is financial advice. I'm just telling you things that I see and I'm, in, I'm investing in myself. So when you look at the next things are the their partnership with Ave. Ave is the biggest bank in cryptocurrency. There's currently about $20 billion in Ave. And right now, Avagachi is one of the collateral assets. There's very few collateral assets on the Polygon market and Avagachi is one of them. Avagachi happens to be one of the lowest market cap collateral coins in, Av in Ave. So that means if you put money in here and it grows, it will grow your collateral and allow you to borrow more money off of your collateral. So if you put the same amount in Bitcoin and, and Avagachi, it's more likely that it will grow faster in Avagachi than Bitcoin and Ethereum and most of these coins. So I look at that and I think, all right, that is a good indication that 
the platform the platform of Avagachi has uh, of Ave has done its homework for me, showing me that this coin is a valuable coin in their ecosystem because they have to do due diligence for them to accept the coin. They don't put anything. You don't see Dogecoin. You don't see Shiba Inu on this list because certain coins they have to make sure are going to be around if they're going to accept them as collateral because you're going to take loans on this coin. So they've got to make sure that they're valuable and they're going to be valuable. So when I look at that, that's another very good sign to me that this, this project is going to do well. All right. What's the next thing I see? Again, I already see them listed. All these coins you see, um, these are the different coins that you will use in the metaverse. There's different coins that do different things. And already in QuickSwap, they're all listed in some of my current holdings. But that, that, that's also another good sign. The DEXs are already starting to pick them up. And again, the game is not even live. Like, it's going to start being... They did a test run a few weeks ago, and I'm going to explain some of what happened, but all good things, um, no hiccups, and the, they're going to release land in uh, two weeks, about a, a week and a half, basically. And that's going to be the start of people that have invested in this heavily starting to make money. So, but we've already made it made some money in the last playtest, and I'll explain that. Another big reason I believe this project is going to do well is when you look at this this company called my.finance, mai.finance, and again, the links are in the description. This company gives interest-free loans. And of course, again, they would only give those type of loans to projects that have a very good likelihood of staying alive for a long time because if you take collateral and you lend out a lot of money and the project goes dead you lose that money because nobody's going to repay those loans so this pro these multiple projects are believing heavily in this project so when you look at my finance you see right now total value locked for ghost is 1 million dollars and they've already lent out 600 thousand dollars of is that million or a thousand um thousand dollars to people who have given them ghost as collateral so when i tell you ave's giving interest plus letting you borrow this company's letting you borrow these are interest free loans too here they give you interest free loans and already ghost is on here which is very very rare right? like you don't see game coins being used as collateral. I haven't seen that anywhere, actually. Um, so that's another reason I myself created a vault, right? So if you look here, I have $1,300 in collateral here, and I borrowed $861. Not a million dollars, but it's I, I've been testing the platform to see how it works, and it'll tell me if Ghost reaches $1.62, they'll keep my, my collateral. If I pay down the loan or or pay down a little bit, I never have to really repay this loan, actually, because it's interest-free. And this site gives me 30% interest in their coin. And I'm going to show you something later where you could even take this coin, put it into the Avagachi ecosystem, and get more ghost. There's so much happening here that it's kind of mind-boggling, and it's like its own little rabbit hole. But when you add up all these little pieces that I'm going through shows me that this project is super solid. So next thing, the team, right? I work with startups. I work with angel investors. I work with venture capitalists. You always look at the team, right? And this is a, this is a, what, what they call a doxed team. So meaning we get to see their faces, right? These are, this is Coder Dan. He has a Twitter, um, you know, you know what he looks like. You know what he's about. And um, he answers people on on um, Twitter. But again, that's not always a guarantee, right? It's not like people are going to run away. They're going to keep answering. But, you know, when people are themselves, it's much less likely for that to happen. So I, I like the fact that him and the team are doxxed, right? So... And again, these are super big brain people. I just heard a podcast with this guy right here, Nick Mudge. And 
he basically created a, a type of smart contract called Diamonds that powers Avagachi that I think is going to be the standard of NFT and gaming projects. And he created it through Avagachi. So you see this and you're like, wow, this is kind of kind of interesting that so much innovation is coming out of this project. And actually, already the Bored Apes have, have not stolen, whatever, taken the same approach to tokenization in their game. They have four coins and they have a main coin. And Avagachi started that. And, you know, I'm sure they're watching this project very carefully and is going to copy what, what they're doing. The team that's building this is a, it's called Pixel Craft Studios. They're only working on Avagachi right now, but of course they plan on making other games. Another cool thing about this project is they're viewing it as like a protocol, meaning you can make your own games on top of this game. They, they'll have like ways of tapping into the characters, renting and everything they're doing with their current game. And you can create your own version of games that take all this crazy high level, smart genius level code and just build right on top of it, which is very interesting. Very, very interesting. So when I see again, stuff like that, I keep, I keep saying to myself, okay, this project has, has a very good runway opportunity. So now I'm going to refresh because it's been a while. I want to see if this, so the cheapest Avagachi you can buy right now is 580 ghost. When you go to the, to see how much that is, that's a thousand sixty one dollars to buy the NFT. But what's different about this NFT is not only is it that you get this NFT, you can play with this NFT, you can make money with this NFT inside this nft is coins so right in here they have 12 matic in this coin so matic right now is worth about a dollar it's down a lot but people believe matic will get to high numbers one day 10 20 50 100 people believe imagine if that happens this this nft could be worth a lot of money because you can burn the ghost or kill the ghost and take out the coin if you want right so They've thought of many different levels of protecting the consumer here that I've, I've seen. I like a lot, right? Like most NFTs, if the project goes out of business, you just, you're done, you're done right? Like you, you lost your money. With this, worst case scenario, you at least get your coins back that are in your ghost, which is pretty cool. I, I, I've never even seen projects to do that. So that's pretty cool. Um, Again, they have these, these very cool, like, um, breakdowns of how all of these characters do different things that you're going to be able to use in the game. This is where it gets super, super dense with information. I haven't gone that deep to understand everything, but I do know that when the game is very playable, you're going to be able to fight characters. And depending on your stats, you're going to be better in certain things like most games. So understanding that is huge. Um, I actually own two right now and I didn't really understand any of this when I bought them. So, you know, we'll see. I'm definitely planning on getting more and I plan on making like a guild because the way this game works is if you have characters, you can lend them out. And as people play with your character, you make a percentage of the money they make while they play that that's pretty interesting. Also, I actually believe this is the best land opportunity in the metaverse. Look at the cheapest price of land right here. 99 ghost, which if we go back, it's $180 versus the board apes. The board apes just sold land. And I think the cheapest price up front was about 12, 13, $14,000 for one piece of land. And now they've gone down in value. They're about $10,000 each, the lowest are on the marketplace. So $10,000, $181. I, I think you're much more likely to get a return on your investment faster buying land in the Avagachi gachi verse than in the Bored Apes. Um, again, not financial advice, but I already see opportunities where people are going to make money and... I think May 18th is going to be the first time they let people that own land 
make money with their land. Like every day you're going to be able to, to, to gain coins for free because you own the land. And then you can sell those coins or turn them into ghost or turn them into Ethereum, Bitcoin, whatever you want. And that is pretty cool. And for $180, you can, you can be, it's like a lower barrier of entry, I think, than most metaverse projects. And I think, you know, it's very good um, investment. I actually own about 13, I own 13 properties and I own two ghosts. Um, so you can sort through different things. They have very good marketplace, their own, which is pretty cool. It's not even on OpenSea or any of the big um, um, NFT platforms. And that in itself is pretty interesting. Like they were able to create their whole own ecosystem. But what's really interesting is not only did they create their own ecosystem because it's open source, many people started creating applications on top already of the Avagachi Gachiverse. And again, the project is not even live. So wait till I show you some of the stuff. So again, they have items. So when you own these items, you get special powers in the game and, and there's ways of making money just by owning these things. It's pretty, pretty intense. That's what I'm saying. It's like so many layers to how you can make money in this game. But the main thing I think about is because all that stuff could, you know, possibly not happen at all. Right. But the real reason I keep seeing for learning more about this game is because of all the external connections they've made in the DeFi space, the decentralized finance space. The way they see it is this game will onboard people into decentralized finance. And that's super interesting. It's kind of like Chase creating a game to get people to learn how to bank more. That to me is interesting. And I, I agree with them because when this game started, there was a lot of people playing and it was very um, short window and it already was competing with some of the biggest metaverse projects in the space. So I could see it's sticking around for a while. And if it sticks around for the next four years, and this game has a 30 year timeline of things that are going to happen throughout the 30 years, which is insane. But even if it just sticks around for the next four years, which on average has been the cycle, people should be able to make a lot more money than, than they've invested. That's, that's what I'm banking on myself. All right. So here they let you stake ghost coin and you get these tickets, you get friends, that you can buy for tickets. And these tickets give you free lotto. It's kind of like a lottery system that you can win items, land, ghost. So people put their ghost coins in here. And then over days and days, every day you get based on how much token, how much you have in here, you get a certain amount of tickets. And then you can use those tickets to buy whichever level you want. And then your, you, your chances are your chances. And you see what happens. But this is a cool mechanism to keep people from selling the ghost coin. There's people with thousands of coins in here because they want to keep accumulating tickets. And why would you do that? Because if you get a good item, you can sell these items for a lot of money. Look at this item right here. 300 ghosts. It's like almost $600, right? 1,000 ghosts. People are buying stuff this is an nft for a thousand ghosts that's two thousand dollars people are paying for this so again paying actually let me take that back this is being listed at a thousand that doesn't mean people are paying it just because it's listed at a thousand doesn't mean somebody's gonna buy it right but it is listed at a thousand meaning this person believes somebody might buy it for that who knows you know there's some for 56 ghosts um I just bought a bunch of 30 ghost um, items because I'm going to make a guild and that's going to be the item for that guild. So I got to have um, the, the items for it. But again, it's just so many layers of, of just smart things. And this is why I really got into the game. I said, once I saw this, I was like, oh man, this project is on its way. So what they did here is they created an on-chain lending platform. Meaning, if right now I wanted to play this game, all I got to do is click here. All right, so they just lend, they just lend this character out. So it's relisting. Okay, so if I wanted to rent this character right now, I don't have enough ghosts right now, but they want to charge me up front. 
0.1 ghost and they're willing to give me a hundred percent of whatever I make while I play. But if you go back right now, there's nothing really happening in the game yet. So everything is probably a hundred percent, but you can set this as the owner of the ghost. You can say, I want 20%, I want 50%. And if somebody rents it from you, they play the game. And as they accumulate tokens, you get whatever percent you put in there. So it's kind of like, Imagine letting someone play Mario Brothers or Sonic, and every time they get a coin or a uh, a ring, you get part of that that bounty, which is pretty cool. And it all happens on chain. So I did it for about two weeks. I made about two hundred dollars renting on my character for two weeks. Just every day, it was just renting. So. There are platforms being built where they'll do it for you. So Gachi Vault is a platform that here's my two ghosts. I have them listed here and it keeps renting them for me. So every time the rental ends, it relists it and it rents it for me. And then they take a percentage for doing that. And I don't have to be watching the ghost, which is interesting, right? Because that, that reminds me of Airbnb for real estate, right? I can have a property. People can rent it for me. And Airbnb handles the middle. Airbnb charges 3%, but it's worth it, right? Because I don't have to look for people to rent out my property. They come to Airbnb, they find my property, they rent it. Airbnb handles all the back and forth unless I need to jump in for something, right? So this company does the same thing for your Avogachis. And this was built by the community. This They'll do things like pet your Avogachi because you need to every 12 hours you need to pet your Avogachi to grow their stats. So this company, you, you put them in here and they automatically pet your Avogachi as well. So all these things is just so smart and so well done that it keeps showing me like I'm, I'm, I get more and more bullish on it every day. Then I told you about the land, right? So this is the actual land of the metaverse so far. These are the lands that they've sold and these, these light, are based on the, the I think who who owns them or how much money they were they were sold for. So like I said, I have 13 plots of land. If I put my wallet address in here, it will show me where my plots of land are. Again, this was all built for free by the community. People love this game so much. They've started developing all these tools for the community to play and learn about the game. And as I keep learning about these tools, I'm like, oh my God, the, the amount of brain power behind this game, I've never seen anything like it. Um, it's pretty crazy. Even this, right? When you lend out your, your Avogachis, it shows you everything that happened, like how much they made. Like you could even as a manager, so you could put your wallet address and every time somebody rents, you could see what they're doing, how they what they're making. Before the game even finishes, you can see how much coins they have made. It's crazy stuff, man. It's really, really awesome. And then I just told you about the, the, the wearables. Somebody else made this thing where you could try different wearable sets and learn how your character will rank, what, what will, how they will look. And again, it's just like so much brain power. I just keep seeing like things being built before the game is even live. The game is not even being played yet. And when I think about Axie Infinity, last year was like all the rave. There was a kid that made $4 million playing Axie Infinity last year. And a lot of those players, most of those players are talking about coming here because this game is better because of that lending feature. Axie Infinity does stuff similar, but doesn't have the on-chain lending. So they want to do this because they're going to see more opportunity to make money. And that that's pretty interesting. So again, look at this. This is this is insane. Like, like it's all this genius level work. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. So and then this this is another project, total different project that lets you choose and figure out find characters that you may want to buy this goes through the um the, the settings of the character the rankings and it lets you choose characters based on what levels you you are interested in so like if i want a character that's low in whatever this is 
I press that and it shows me all the ones that are available. And then I go here and I can buy it. So again, think about them the, as a developer and a designer, animator, just seeing all this work. It just makes me think these people really, really bought into this community. And if that many people have bought into the community, especially at that level mentally, that brain power to me tells me other people are going to get here eventually because that's what happens. I like te- I, I, that's why I talk about investing in innovation. To me, innovation is the smartest people building the future. So if I watch that and say, I, I believe in what they're building because not only do I believe in it, but other people believe in it, then I think it's a good investment. And I invest before the, the general public gets there. And that's how I believe is the best way of making money. So that's why my channel is based on learning how to invest in innovation. And when I saw this project, I think it's one of the most innovative gaming projects that I've seen. And if I'm wrong, please put in the description some projects that you've seen that have even close to this level of development and mind power behind it. Because I, I want to know about them, you know. So you can search. Is This is the Project Fireball. And then they have the guilds. So these are groups of people or, or just organizations that have compiled ghost and land to rent out and make money. So if you look at this company right here, it's called Order GG. Orden GG. This is that guild. They have 973 gachis. Why do you think that is? When you think about like the board apes, there's people with a lot of board apes, but they're just holding them there, holding them, waiting for them to go up in value. This, you can rent it out and every day make money off having an NFT. They have 973 of them. You don't think they're going to make some, some money on that? When I just told you the cheapest is a thousand dollars. So these people have spent almost a million dollars on gachis. They have 647 pieces of land. And look, when you when when you add your guild to this, they use that other platform I showed you and they list where their where their where their um land is. So right now, this is all their land. Insane amount of land. This has got to be a million dollars worth of land, too. So this company has invested a million dollars in this game. They see something, right? So again, this is another signal to me that. People believe in this. People with a lot of money believe in this. So I believe in it too. Um, yeah, so and then one of the, the best things about this project, I think, is the way they document the process and keep the community abreast of the situation, of what they're thinking about and what they're doing. Because this is a DAO. Basically, we are going to be the ones that create this game. They're putting on the framework and they're going to let, they let us vote on what happens in this project. So another reason I believe this is one of the best projects in crypto to be involved in is because it already has one of, if not the most, it's the most DAO interactions out of every other project. Look at this. In 20, May 22, of May of 2022, Avagachi had 83,000 interactions with the DAO. The next project had 46,000, which is Balancer. Now, again, why is that? This game does not even exist. Balancer is one of the biggest projects in cryptocurrency. Olympus DAO, biggest project in cryptocurrency. Badger DAO, pretty big project. Uniswap, the biggest decentralized exchange in cryptocurrency. How does Avagachi pass all that? They gamified interacting with the DAO. They basically give you experience points for your character if you vote on DAO proposals, which I, again, think is genius because most people don't like doing that kind of stuff. But if there's an incentive, a gamified incentive, you're much more likely to do it. So people are participating in the governance of Avagachi because they get a benefit, not just a benefit of the things they want to see happen, happen, but their, their character gains experience points that helps them in the game. So when I really start to think about all this together and I, and I look at the project as a whole, I say, you're looking at a gamified metaverse. 
And I didn't even tell you. So what they're saying is with your land, you're going to also be able to. Hey, Miriam, how are you? Um, you're also going to be able to promote your businesses. You're going to be able to put your NFTs on it. You're going to be able to make decentralized applications that can be on your land. So they were already talking about people creating dApps that will let you trade cryptocurrency, buy the NFT straight from their land. So when I see that, I'm saying, okay, this is a major part of the metaverse that you got to be able to do anything wherever you are. And as a business owner, I want to be, have storefronts in all of these metaverses. You got to have a storefront in Abagachi. I mean, the Gachi verse, if you believe this project is going to be big. So I started out buying one piece of property and then I kept looking at the project and learning more. And I was like, hold on, the, the land is so valuable because you make money every day just by owning land and you can charge people to come on your land and make money and you make money off their money. So I was like, man, that sounds crazy. Let me just buy one. Then I started learning more and more and more and I started buying more and more and more. And then I got to the point where I was like, all right, I got to stop. But I do believe that I will get my return on that, on the investment of this project back. No problem. Um, there's some, there's a podcast that I listened to. Uh, damn, I didn't link that one, but there's a podcast I listened to where the guy says, and I'm going to have him on here. Actually, he's going to come on the show. He says he believes the land is, will have a thousand X per year return. Again, not financial advice. And I didn't know that before I bought it, but I saw a similar, I was like, there's too much good things happening here. Nobody knows this project exists. When they do, I can see the prices of all this going up a lot. And I get free coins every day just by owning it. So as the prices go up, that free coin, those free coins I get, I can put them into collateral assets, borrow off of them, live my life, buy more assets. Once people understand all this, and I know it's mind bending, but the truth of the matter is this has been one of the main places I've ever, the, the, the most projects I've ever seen where they combine decentralized finance, which is very, very important. I, I believe the most important part of crypto and gaming, which is what most people are going to want to do, especially in a bear market. If you, if you, you're having trouble working, you don't want to go outside. You don't want to do this. A lot of people game. I think they said a 300 million people in the world are gamers. It's like, or, or even more than that, like the numbers are very big. So if they have a way of coming into the crypto market through gaming, but then also learning about this major, major innovation called decentralized finance and being able to take advantage of that. I see children, regular age, young, old, being able to take advantage of this opportunity. And it all starts out by just understanding what it is, right? And again, one of the major reasons I got into this project, because I remember hearing one of the, the major um, developers, I forget who it was, maybe it was Coder Dan. He was saying he started out with Bitcoin and he started to see all the big brains go to Bitcoin. And then he started seeing the big brains going to Ethereum. And now he's seeing the DeFi and gaming are taking all the big brains. So he said, how can I combine both those things? And that's what, he, that's what they're doing. And I'm looking at this and I'm saying, okay, how can I start educating people on it? How can I start benefiting from it financially? Of course, entrepreneur and investor. This metaverse is giving me an opportunity to be an entrepreneur. I'm already creating business models around owning land in this metaverse. I invested in those opportunities, right? I, I just couldn't come up with it as a business model without owning the land. So I had to invest to even be an entrepreneur. And that's how the metaverse is going to be. You're not going to be able to play in the metaverse unless you invest in the metaverse. You just walk around and buy all you want. But if you want to create a business in the metaverse, you have to own the coin. You have to own the land. So you got to start watching what you believe is going to happen, especially over the next four years. The key trick, I believe that's what's going to happen in the next four years is the projects that people believe in and invest in early that make it past those four years. I think we're going to see life-changing wealth, right? Because the metaverse wasn't around really during the last bull run. It's, it was there towards the end. Decentraland made it. 
a lot of the other projects didn't even exist, but just because they were in the, the, the industry, they pumped. Sandbox didn't even exist and it went 10, 20, 50 X or something like that. Right. Decentraland did exist. I remember seeing it. I bought Decentraland at 40 cents. It went to $5. It was pretty much the only metaverse project around that and crypto voxels. This next bull run is all going to be about the metaverse and gaming. So if you pick the right projects now, invest a little bit in them, and they make it in the next four years, you talking about huge returns. Of course, it's risky. And what do most investors do? They invest in multiple things. So I don't, I'm not advising you to put all your money in Avagachi, all your money in Decentraland. I, I'm spread out. I'm spread out in different projects, but I do have my biggest bet now in the Gachi verse with Avagachi because I don't see any of the other projects doing what this is doing. Again, that's right now. Once I see it go live and I see what's happening, if I don't like what's happening, that's the beauty of crypto. I can pull my investments out and not lose all of my money if I want. That's a that's very that's a very good thing, right? So in the next few weeks, I'm going to try to bring on some people that are behind the game or very or very influential in the game um because I want to be ready for when the land drops. And that's my alpha for the day. Go look at the at the land in Avagachi Gachiverse. I believe it's probably the biggest opportunity in crypto right now.